What's up YouTube? I'm back again, Josh here. I wanted to do a quick review about my Saddleback wallet. Um, Saddleback is a, I believe it's supposed to be a US company, but they're, uh, they make ultra heavy duty wallets uh, in Mexico. Well, this one was at least made in Mexico. So, but uh, it's a premium wallet. I go through wallets uh, about one a year, uh, and it really annoys me because I have a hard time finding a heavy-duty wallet. Uh, most wallets have the little vinyl, clear vinyl window here, and that um, it's either glued on or barely stitched at that. Wallets are generally made so cheap and crappy, it just annoyed me. And I, 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 I always wanted something heavy-duty. I was always on a hunt. Each year, I'd go hunting for a heavy-duty wallet. So I bought this uh, bifold wallet uh, made by Saddleback. It's a, the bifold medium size. Uh, for me, it is actually a good size. It's uh, not too large, not too small. But um, if you want to hear, I'll even throw in a you know, ruler measurement on this thing. Guys. Four and a half long, three and a half tall. Now, thickness depends on what you carry, obviously. But ultimately, this thing will come about half inch thick when it's brand new. This thing is heavy duty as heck and thick as heck. Uh, the leather itself, I mean, I got a good 1 16th, actually over that. It's over a 16th thick leather here. Uh, same thing on everything on this thing. Very heavy, very thick. Uh, it's over each, every, oh, I mean, this is unbelievable heavy duty. As soon as I got it, I mean, it was stiff as heck. Very hard to open, very hard to, you know, close. It would just, it had, it really needs a good breaking in period. Um, what I did want to show you is its failure, though. So uh, I did read some reviews. Some guys were saying how it was cracking their uh, credit cards. And so this one was supposed to be the new and improved model, uh, saying that, you know, I guess the way they have this cut out, it used to just go straight uh, straight across. Uh, and just because of leather being so thick, guys carrying it in their back pockets, sitting on it, it would actually shear the, the cards. Um, so that being said, uh, then I thought, I'm like, oh, new and improved model. You know what? Maybe this will be a right fit for me. It still cracks credit cards. I'm not bad mouthing this thing. I am actually still very happy with this wallet, but I just, um, I just discovered this a few days ago. I rarely use my PayPal card and look at that suckers actually just cracking it in half. Well, not in half or cracking the edge still will break cards. I carry in my front pocket. I don't, I don't, I cannot carry a thick wallet in my back pocket. Uh, heck yeah, it would throw my spine out of alignment if I sat down on it. I do see this thing lasting me for years to come. It's supposed to have like a hundred year warranty that comes with it. Yeah, that's a, it's a BS warranty. Nobody's going to truly, I, the company is not going to be around in a hundred years. I, all right, maybe I, I guess I'm just being mean. I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt, but you know what, being risk, realistically, how many companies are around you know, in a hundred years, odds are the guy's going to sell out. He's going to retire. He's going to hand it off to another guy that doesn't honor 100 years. <laughs> So, um, guys, if you like this thing, uh, there's three credit card pockets on each side, as you can see. You have pockets in the back, um, and you got actually just one monster pocket here. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay cool.